Hey boys and girls, welcome back. Another test ride. The 2015 Kawasaki Versi 1000. God damn. This, right here, very close, and I wear big chunky boots. And, I mean, you can still get to it really easily. It's not, it's not hindering at all. But you do feel it, you do kick the oil tank. That's possibly slightly bad placement there, guys. What a gorgeous bike. Fucking huge as well. Huge. We're on the move. I can straight up tell you now, this seat is so comfortable. I want one of these in my house. It's a bit more expensive than a sofa, but Jesus. Okay, what am I finding? The handlebars really quite far out, but it's not uncomfortable. It's it's just different to what I'm used to. Secondly, this is the second ever 1000cc bike that I've ridden. The power delivery is so smooth. Pretty sure the uh, the horsepower is probably about the same in this compared to my 636 um, I can't see it being massively massively different oh my god I feel like I'm just laying down this is such a comfortable comfortable bike to ride And it just, it throws into the corners because it's so big. you think like it was top heavy. No, not at all. I can see, you know, even in the rain, you'd be getting pissed on, you'd be like, ah, but so, so nice. Let's start with the bad points about the Versi. Bad point number one. The oil reservoir and the rear brake they are very very close together so when you try to press the rear brake if you're wearing big boots have big feet or you know are just careless with where you throw your leg then uh you're gonna hit it number two the the big touring screen not very attractive at all. I know it's difficult to make them attractive and I know that it does the job that it's there to do. Hello horses! But a bike's gotta look good man. Thirdly, the third and final bad thing about this motorcycle is that I don't own one. The riding position excellent upright comfortable the seat now the last bike I test rode Z300 very uncomfortable seat this one amazingly comfortable seat I've been putting around on this for about an hour and a half maybe two hours and I've got another day of riding in me, like I can just do this forever, this is amazing. Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper, 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 Dr. Pepper. This, uh, with the bike being so high, you can see over all the cars, you just, you got such a wider field of vision, it's so good. I feel so safe, so confident, the power is amazing, the fuel economy, like I said, I've been going for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and it hasn't gone down a bar yet, that's phenomenal, Versi red line maybe, <laughs> yeah, short and sharp, I like it, and bolt into the red line, didn't hang around. Okay, let's try and do ratings before the battery dies. Um, 
overall bike, 9 out of 10. Slight things like the screen, you know, it doesn't look good. The oil reservoir being so close to the brake lever, it looks like a simple oversight. Um, the rest of the bike though, fantastic. Could easily be a 10 out of 10, just minor things. Fuel economy is doing really well. The, the confidence you feel to lean this, great. Literally everything, oh my god. If it wasn't for the cosmetics, this bike would be a 10 out of 10. This bike is Zulu X-Ray approved. Look in it, yeah? What the fuck is wrong with you?